Some crystals have a history of unaliving people, and these are the top six most toxic crystals you can own. First up is orpiment, which is an arsenic sulfide mineral. It was widely used as pigment and dye throughout history, and even had medicinal uses as treatment for various diseases. Unfortunately, it's highly carcinogenic and should be handled with care. Next up is torbernite, which is a hydrated copper phosphate urinal mineral. It's dangerous due to its high levels of radioactivity, but thankfully small sized specimens are safe to keep. Next up is cinnabar which contains mercury and sulfur. In the past it was used as pigment and carved into jewelry. Cinnabar is still mined today as a primary source of mercury, but be careful because this mineral could cause neurological damage and kidney failure. Next up we have stibnite which is an antimony sulfide mineral. Stibnite paste was used for thousands of years in cosmetics. It was also used to make eating utensils which eventually led to poisoning. That's because antimony is a carcinogen that causes symptoms similar to arsenic poisoning, including acute symptoms such as vomiting and abdominal pain. But you'll be fine as long as you don't ingest or inhale it. This blue beauty is calcanthite. It's a water-soluble copper sulfate mineral with high bioavailability. That means unlike most of the minerals on this list, this one can be easily absorbed by the body. Copper is toxic to humans in relatively high quantities, so thankfully your skin won't absorb enough of it to harm you. Last but not least, we have tremolite. It's a member of the amphibole group of silicate minerals. It's composed of tiny interwoven fibrous crystals. Sound familiar? That's because it's an asbestiform mineral. Those tiny sharp fibers can easily be inhaled or ingested. Repeated exposure often leads to the development of lung cancer. Holding it is completely safe, but you should always use extreme caution when cutting or polishing any type of mineral.